Uh, these won't get glazed. This is just, this is going out the window. What's up everyone? My name is Brianna. I'm a pastry chef and today, going to be reviewing this Betty Crocker Mini Donut Factory. I'm old school, I love a good fried donut, and even just judging by the box, these things look like just straight up cake. I, I don't know, we'll see. I'm kind of excited to see how these turn out because I've made donuts professionally for a few years now and even worked at a donut shop, so, you know. Oh, she's small. Comes with this cute little piping bag and some piping tips. It's cute, I'm guessing, so we can achieve this cute little squiggles. Squiggles. It'd be nice if it came with some sprinkles too, but you know. Okay, it's smaller than a waffle maker, which is nice because having a lot of appliances that are large is no fun. I don't know though, to be called a donut factory and have seven little compartments. And my dad's about to be like, I love Lucy, just banging these things out on a like, conveyor belt. I will give you the benefit of the doubt, Miss Betty. You seem to know best for most things, so we shall see. Our recipe book here comes with four different recipes. The one that really called to my soul was the apple one with cider glaze. I just love it. So we're gonna make that one. I'm gonna get all my ingredients ready and we're gonna do the damn thing, get this factory going. All right, so I have all my ingredients here. There aren't very many instructions. They're not very detailed, it's literally just Hey, these are all the ingredients. Mix them together, put them in the machine, you got donuts. We're just gonna put this in here and get our mix on using an electric mixer. That is one of the very few steps that they gave us, use an electric mixer. I think we're good. I have it preheating. It doesn't tell me in here, in the little recipe guide, which light to look out for, but I'm assuming this little orange red light means, no, I'm not ready yet. And when it's like, yeah, I'm ready, it'll turn green. That's just, you know, what's going on in my head. It's also smoking right now. <laughs> it warned us in the instructions that it might be smoky upon first use, even after wiping down. Um, so I'm not alarmed by this. I'm alarmed that this sticker says remove me before using and I haven't yet. So we're gonna do that. It's green. So we're ready. I would load this up but this piping tip is a little small, so I'm guessing this is only for decorating purposes. So we'll be using just a tablespoon scoop, that's how much it says to use, and putting one into each mold. It doesn't say whether to spray or grease or anything, so we're just going straight in. Oh, she's sizzling, okay. I kind of feel like this is like a evil skeever. I think that's what they're called. This seems like it would be cleaner in a piping bag, so if you have one, go for it. But Miss Betty didn't tell us to pipe, so I'm gonna listen to Miss Betty. It has these little prongs at the top, so it'll make a little donut hole for us, because she's not too holy yet. I don't know. Let me tell you, I'm working right now, and this is just the first round. This thing is hot. It tells me this will make 48 mini donuts. I'm, I'm not ready for that. This says to bake for two to three minutes or until golden brown. So I'm gonna set a timer and we will check it in two minutes. I'll start on the, on the low side just to be safe. It's still pretty smoky and I don't know if that's like steam from it cooking the donuts now or if this is just like, I'm warming up to you, getting to know you type of steam um, as a machine, so. I don't know, but it smells good. I'm smelling that it's actually baking it or steaming it or whatever this is, how it's cooking it. And we're ready. Oh, oh. What are y'all doing? It says to use a wooden or a rubber spatula to get them out. Interesting. They're looking a little like me in August, a little brown, maybe even a little sunburnt. The top looks nice, but the brown, the bottom's very brown. It's kind of crispy even compared to the top. These definitely just look like little cake, little cakes, little baby bunt cakes almost, not so much as donuts. This is also why I think piping would be a much better idea than just tablespooning it in there because then you get all this. Although it looks yummy, I'm not gonna lie, the crunchiness is calling to me right now and I kind of want to try it. Looks like it has a good nugget of apple. It's hot. <laughs> no regrets. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Although I just burned the hell out of my mouth, it's good. Like, I'm actually kind of shocked. I will say though, there's one thing missing from this donut and it's a hole. I thought that with this little setup, 
It would help push the dough out of the way and get rid of that, but none of them have a hole. I'm gonna load this up, do some more factory work, and then we'll get our glaze going and give it a final judgment. So the second batch is in here now. I don't think I'm gonna get a hole this time around. As hard as I tried, I could still see that once it hit that like hot uh, surface, the dough just started to spread. All right, it's time to open these up. Let's see if there's any difference this time around. <laughs> Ciao, what? Oh, it's sticking here. What's happening? I only did a tablespoon. I promise I followed directions, but this is just so webbed. I promise I'm doing my best to, to make these donuts work, to make Miss Betty proud, but things j are just getting worse. So I'm gonna give it one more chance. And I switched out the piping tip to this nice round one. I think you use this to make like cute little rose petals. I'm gonna use the bag. I'm gonna pipe it in. I'm going to use less batter. And I'm hoping we get this factory going a lot better. This is trial number three. I have my piping bag, my tip. I'm really hoping this tip kind of helps us at a nice angle so it can like go right around the hole. That's what I'm hoping and thinking. We're preheated, we're ready to go. We're gonna load her up and cross our fingers and our toes. I've been doing two minutes, but they've been so brown. I kind of just wanna go with one. So we're gonna set a one minute timer. I'm gonna stop dripping batter everywhere and then we'll see. But we're gonna give it a look. Just, just look at it. It's just, they're so beautiful. I'm such a proud mama. They're perfect, they're not too brown. There's no like spillage anywhere. And best of all, there's a hole. Ha, huh. she's holy. Okay, I'm happy with these. It took a few tries, but we got there. Don't know how that would hold up in a regular donut factory, but we made it. So they look better. Let's make sure that they taste better too, hopefully. They definitely do. It's not a great taste overall though. <laughs> It's kind of bland. There's no apple in this one somehow. So I'm not getting any cinnamon. I'm not getting any bite of the apple. No caramelization from any of that mixture. I'd give this like a C minus. So we're gonna let these cool off a little bit, get our glaze made and uh, these won't get glazed. This is just, this is going out the window. So overall, it wasn't the best experience. It wasn't really a donut. It's definitely more of a cakey kind of flavor. Not that good donut fried bite that we all enjoy. I'm so sorry, Miss Betty, but I have to give you a thumbs down. Aww. I'm so sorry. I wanted to give you a thumbs up, but my heart, I. My heart of hearts, I just can't. Thank you guys for watching my gadget review of the Betty Crocker Mini Donut Factory. If you wanna see me review more Betty Crocker gadgets, comment below, but until then, you can follow me on Instagram at breezyjacks. Bye. Oh yes.